Hi everyone. So yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to Where Shy Is. This is Neha, and uh, we have completed six chapters till now, and we are about to uh, pack up this book. Uh, pack up in that sense that only three more lectures will be coming for this book, and almost it took five to six hours for this book to complete. Almost five six hours or seven hours almost. Okay. for you to just read it uh, all you have to do is just take one day or either sit on sunday or saturday whosoever the working one saturday sunday one five day week ones just sit on saturday and sunday and keep studying this book all right and other than that one part of this book i have kept separate so because uh, for that part reference i need in the another chapter okay so that's why i have kept that only one certain section is like waterways and all and for you to not get confused that is also my purpose to divide that just that part almost the part of this chapter will be completed in this uh, almost every part of the chapter will be completed in this lecture only that part will be uh, we'll be covering in chapter number 8 okay so without any confusion uh, you know wesh ias has started its batches as well so you can just come in and enroll us without wasting your time see already serious aspirant has enrolled with us so we are not here to do any sort of marketing that's why we don't pitch more for join 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 we don't pitch for that because we already uh, actually we have lot many students is all that we don't want you to waste your time on uh, or waste your money hard earned money on any or, or just get distracted it's just that come and join us we are guaranteeing you things because why bachelor is guaranteeing you thing is uh because he have literally worked so hard he have experience of those things so it's just that come and join us okay for to enroll to series or for any doubt or anything okay you can just write us directly on us on whatsapp so vaishya will be handling that whatsapp uh, handle directly okay or you can just write us on gmail on vaish upsc@gmail.com youtube facebook instagram you can connect us anywhere I am Neha Duniwal from Vesh IS. I am covering your geography books for class twelve. I am here to cover both the books. So we'll be completing this book first. Depending on your response, we'll be uh, we we basically uh, we are liking it that you guys are studying now. Okay, uh, our serious aspirants are studying. The our foundation students are studying well, and uh, they have even uh, said this thing that this these videos have helped them a lot. So somewhere we are getting. We are uh, actually the number of students we want to help. we actually want to help everyone of out of there but the our targeted students are being wearing benefits the serious ones unnecessary students are there they won't be studying today they won't be studying any day okay they'll keep on wasting their time it's just that i am here to guide you all right so i'm completing com completing your geography this thing you know for this thing you can just contact sir as well like he he can give you the entry or not otherwise i cannot assure you for things okay and yeah uh, actually i had to stop the video in between so that's why you find these marks over here see uh, you know this thing very well no matter from where to where our economy our society our uh, daily ecology our daily routine we need transport and communication first when we talk about transportation we know this thing very well that without transportation transportation we would have not been here the uh, the society would have not uh, moved forward the economy would have not grown the growth would have not be seen see all the parts of the economy are interlinked if one of the leg of the chair misses uh, miss you cannot sit actually on the chair right you need all the legs to be stabilized all right that's that's the transport plays a major important role here that it, it is one of the important section of the society we know this thing that from a from to move from one place to another we need transport you know that those basics transport 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 you know the basics of this thing all right and when we talk talk about communication this is what is happening is communication right if things would have not been there if technology would have not developed if it would have not evolved this would have not happened all right so we have to discuss uh, uh, communication in that sense as well and when we talk about communication it it has three modes land water air okay road railway pipeline when we talk about land we know this thing that uh, uh, land transport is of th three types road railway pipeline air you know national and international and when we talk about water it's inland or oceanic routes you know india uh, we have we share this coastline so this 
uh, from Maharashtra to West Bengal, I want to send something. We have cargo systems and all. Okay, internationally, if I want to send something to Europe, so we live in Asia, so through the Suez Canal or anything, all those things, you know. Okay, when we'll be discussing about map classes, we'll be uh, studying our those map work, Africa, Australia, I'll be taking one, one, one continent. So in future, we have many plans for you. So when we'll be moving in that thing, I will actually link those things. Whatever subject I have taught, I'm going to link those things. Okay, but for that it is required you to complete this books first. Okay, okay. So uh, as I talked about land transport, I already told you in land transport we'll be talking about road. Uh, in roads we'll be talking about national, state, districts, and other roads. And after that, uh, th this road transport in itself is a big topic: golden quadrilateral, north, south, eastern uh, uh, these corridors. Okay. Uh, length. Other uh, roads are the highest. Every one of you must have uh, read the economic survey those little parts if no then that's very bad if you have not read it start reading those things things become easy the atal tunnel okay bharat mala uh, project which ha it has already completed in 2022 then we'll be talking about rail transport and uh, when it comes to this pipeline and all we'll be discussing in and uh, see this is not that big part air transport is a very small topic because as we'll be discussing about international trade, so international trade is more about air transport. That's why I have kept it there. And this water transport is again something to learn. You have to learn the national highways, uh, waterways, sorry. Huh? So for waterways for you to learn, see, it's my kind responsibility. I know this thing that to for you guys to understand and learn the things, I can manage those things. So that's why I have segregated the things according for you to learn. Now it's up to you how you make use of it. Okay, uh, moving further, uh, land transport, you know, the pathways and unmetal roads have been used for transportation in India since ancient time. With economic and technological development, metal and these were developed for like heavy volumes, you know, this thing. Now the roads have been prepared for those. Uh, roads are basically developed for those heavy loads and all, okay, for that metal and all those things. Now uh, in land transport, first is road transport. India has one of the second largest road network. You should know this thing in the world with total length of 62.6. Uh, this is 2020, 21 data. You keep on updating it, please. About 85% of... I'm sorry. About 85% of passengers and 70% of the uh, freight traffic are carried by roads. Okay, every year road transport is relatively suitable for shorter travel. And uh, in modern sense, it's basically limited in India before it for before World War Two, it was very limited. And the first serious attempt was made in 1943. That is before independence. Nagpur plan was drawn. Okay, this could not be implemented due to lack of coordination among rationalized the princely states. And that's history part. Okay. And after uh, independence, we know this thing, 1961, it got improved. So we basically moved toward national highway, state highway, districts, roads, rural roads. We moved towards that section. Okay. And when we talk about national, high, uh, national highway, we know this thing that uh, in, we are into roads only. Okay. First, let's talk about district roads. What are district roads? They are the connecting link between district headquarters. Like I have to move from Jaipur to, for example, Kota. Kota is one of the districts in uh, Rajasthan. So I have, I'll take the district roads. So that, that's the district highway kind of thing. Okay, that count for 14% of the total road, uh, road length of the country. Okay, now coming to state, I want to move from Rajasthan to I want to go to, for example, UP. So uh, uh, I'll be taking the state highway. Okay, these are constructed and maintained by state government. They join the state capitals with district headquarters. Okay, these roads are connected to national highway. These constitute 4% of total road length in the country. 4%. 14%, 4%. Now coming to national highways. Uh, the Now national, nation to nation. Okay. Uh, national, which is, which is nation to nation, not nation to nation. Basically, that is connecting the uh, nation. State capitals, district headquarters, all those things. Which are constructed by central government known as National Highway, National Highway Authority of India. The fast track things, all those things are managed by NHIA. Okay, these roads are meant for interstate transport, movement of defense men and material in strategic area. These are uh, these also connect the capitals, major cities, important ports. The Bharat Mala project and the Golden Quadrilateral we'll be talking about. So that is basically a national highway. It uh, connects the important cities, major cities, major capitals 
all those things okay the length of national highway has increased from 9700 kilometers in 1951 to 136 understanding from 19000 to almost like 1.50 uh, Oh, like one lakh thirty six, one lakh thirty six thousand in twenty twenty. The national highway constitutes only two percent of the total road land, but can carry forty percent of road traffic. So here it was fourteen percent, here it was four percent. Now it's two percent, but it carries forty percent of the road traffic. Getting my point? National Highway Authority of India was operationalized in nineteen ninety five. Okay, it is an autonomous body, almost twenty eight years under Ministry of Surface Transport. Okay, it is entrusted with responsibility of development, maintenance, and operation of national highway. This is also apex body to improve the quality of roads designated as national highway. That's why we pay the tolls. Everyone asks why we are paying so much of tolls. So the roads, the road, the running roads which you see uh, while traveling. While uh, I love road transports. I love driving. Okay, so basically the toll you pay is the quality of road that is decided. But again. sadly okay so other roads uh, we talked about national we talked about state we talked about districts now let's talk about other roads like the roads which do not comes under state districts or national highway will be considered under, uh, under other roads other roads include border roads international highways the border road organization that is bro was established in may 1960 so this National Highway Authority of India was op operationalized in 1995, but before that, BRO was operationalized because we were going through lot many those border things. First, we have to like before protecting our room, we have to protect our house first, right? So that is the thing for accelerating economic development and strengthening defence preparedness through rapid and coordinated improvement of strategic important roads along the northern and northern eastern boundaries because we went through partition we bend we bend uh, sorry we went through uh, partition we went through many war in do pak in do china we came through independence yeah so all that we have it is primal multifaceted is constructed uh, agency we are talking about bro which was which was operationalized in 1960 all right it has constructed roads of high altitude mountains like atal tunnel was recently in news so i'm not going to tease that just write in in the comment section what do you have read even bashar has covered it yes joining chandigarh with manali and lay ladakh this road runs at an average altitude of 4 to 70 basically we are uh, the, like neighboring countries and uh, to just uh, go through uh, provide that facility of transportation between countries we talk about bro so that is basically handled by bro okay all right so we were talking about national highway 2% 12 uh, sorry 2% 4% 14% but the 40% has been covered by this 40% of the traffic has been covered by national highway so 1,36 1,76 and this is wait 5 59 lakh okay so 6 lakh 62 lakh 15,797 is the length in kilometers. Kindly update updated with the recent report, whichever was available. I'm not updated. Okay, National Highway Development Authority, which we were talking about of 1995, it has taken major two projects in different phases. So one is Golden Quadrilateral, which I was explaining to you just right now. One is Golden Quadrilateral. Other is North, South, and East West Corridor. So what is Golden Quadrilateral? We have to draw a quadrilateral that is like this. Okay, so it is connecting Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, and Kolkata. The major capitals: e, uh, North, South, Delhi, North, Chennai, down, Mumbai, and this uh, Kolkata. Okay. We'll be talk. India, you know, I, I am expecting every one of you knows this thing: Mumbai, Delhi. Kolkata and this is Chennai, connecting these four points. Chennai, okay, fine. I am expecting from you people that you guys know the states and their capital at least. That will be very bad if you even don't know that. Please, it comprises five eight six five eight four six kilometers. So five six. Remember it like this: five six four, and its double is eight. Just gamble with the numbers okay uh, long four four by six lane high density traffic corridor to connect india's four big metro cities 
Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata. With the construction of Golden Quadrilateral, the time, distance and cost of movement among the mega cities of India has been considerably minimized. So go and just YouTube it today. I could have shown you, but it will create a strike on my video. So you go and watch it yourself, okay? Fine. Then talking about North-South and East-West Corridor. North-South Corridor aims at connecting Sri Nagar in Jammu Kashmir with Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu. Okay, including Kochi Salem Sapur with 4076. Again, 4670. Uh, the East West Corridor has been planned to connect Silchar in Assam with the port town of Port Bandar in Gujarat, is 3640. So basically, uh, sorry, this is 4076. So what we are connecting, Jammu Kashmir. To Tamil Nadu. Okay. And when we talk about this, this is Gujarat in Port Bandar to Salem in Assam. Okay. This is short. You know the India is longer like this. You know the basics. I'm please expecting that you guys actually know the basics. If not, then please go and watch the lectures or just take the PDFs. Sir has already provided basic notes in that. So just take those PDFs. All right. Fine. Now, the world longest highway tunnel, Atal Tunnel, 9.02 km, has been built by BRO. Amazing. Just go and have the view. This connect, tunnel connects Manali to Lahul Spiti Valley throughout the year. Earlier, the valley was cut off for about six months due to heavy snowfall. The tunnel is built with ultra modern specification in Peer Banjal Range of Himalaya at an altitude of 3,000. Uh, this also you just go and watch the videos youtube amazing amazing videos uh, just watch some news channel they are going to explain everything like those uh, drone shots has been taken that is wonderful literally wonderful video i myself watch those video at times okay now we let's talk about bharat mala it's an umbrella scheme for development of states road along the coastal borders areas including connectivity of major ports so major and minor ports you must be knowing yes no then comment okay so backward area religious tourist places connectivity program bharat mala is basically for this mala connecting mala what does the mala do mala is a beads mala in hindi is that bead one okay so connecting that mala Connecting various points, okay? A circular mala is that. This is Bharat mala, huh? Mala. Mala, you understand? Beads. Garland kind of thing. This. Okay? And Setu Bharatam Pariyojana. That is Setu is a connecting bridge, which is for construction of about 1500 major bridges and 200 rail over bridges, rail under bridges. District Headquarter Connectivity Scheme of, for the development of about 9,000 km newly declared national highways. The program is like updated. Please update it with that. Okay, now let's talk about the rail transport. I just wanted to explain one thing. One thing. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, before starting with rail transport, I just want to tell you one thing. The Konkan Railway. One of the important achievements of Indian Railway has been construction of Konkan Railway in 1998. What is basically Kongan Railway? Why it holds so much of important? It is 760 km long rail route connecting Roha in Maharashtra to Mangalore in Karnataka. Konkan Railway. Okay, it is considered as an engineering marvel. It crosses 146 rivers, streams, nearly 2,000 bridges, and 91 tunnels. Asia's largest tunnel, which is nearly 6.5 km long, also lies in this route. The states of Maharashtra, Goa, and Karnataka are partners in this understanding. So, again, BRO, Atil Tunnel, and uh, BRO, Atil Tunnel, and Konkan Railway. Just go and watch this. Konkan Railway is like one of the marvels, seriously engineering marvels. I don't know how they have just created that thing, but it's an engineering marvel. Amazing, seriously amazing. Okay, now let's talk about in rail transport. So you must have heard about the broad gorges, the meter gorges, the narrow gorges while traveling in the trains. People must be talking. Fine, we'll discuss this. Okay, Indian Railways network is one of the longest in the world. It facilitates the movement of both freight and passengers and contributes to the growth of the economy. 
you know once mahatma gandhi said this thing brought people indian railway brought people of diverse cultures together to contribute to india's freedom struggle yes uh, like if railways would have not been there the things would have been really very different everyone every kid knows this thing bombay to thane the first railway yeah rail lines were so just we have to talk about that as well okay indian railway was introduced in 1853 Uh, when a line was constructed from bombay to thane covering a distance of 34 km okay bombay to thane covering a distance of 34 km india railway is the largest government undertaking in the country the length of indian railways network was 67956 e railway a book it's very large size puts a lot of pressure on a centralized railway management system okay thus in india the railway system has been divided into 16 zones North East and all those, okay. On the basis of width of the track, now just come to the point. What is basically on the basis of width of the track, we decide Indian railways have three categories: broad gauge, meter gauge, narrow gauge. The distance between rails in the broad gauge is one point six seven meter, almost like less than two meters. The total length of broad gauge was six three nine five zero kilometers. Two thousand nineteen twenty data. I am telling updated. and when we talk about meter so meter is 1 meter 1 meter then it's meter gauge the total length is it's less like more we have more of broad gauges 62402 km narrow gauge less than 1 so 1 is the baseline more than 1 less than 1 the broad one is more than 1 less than 1 is narrow okay so this is more this is less and this is very less okay 0.610 The total length of narrow gauge was one six zero four. It is generally confined to hill areas. You cannot you cannot create broad gauges in hill areas. Huh? India Railway has ex uh, launched ex extensive programs to convert the meter and narrow gauges to broad gauges. Okay. Moreover, steam engines have replaced by diesels and electric engines. Okay. This step has increased the speed as well as haulage capacity. The replacement of steam engine runs. run by coal has also been improved the environment of the station yes metro rails has revolution like so much of technology at times comes as uh, comes as marvels okay uh, replacing those coal ones with these steam ones is a big time achievement in itself like diesel and electric ones okay a uh, replacement of diesel buses by cng run vehicles along with the introduction of metro is a welcome step towards controlling the air pollution in urban cities okay areas around towns raw material producing areas and of plantation and other commercial crops hill stations and cantonment towns were well connected by railways from british canal area we know this thing railways are blessing from britishers i don't know people have different uh, thoughts about it people have different uh, views on it but this is my personal view if britishers would have not come this thing would have been missing right these these were uh, mostly see i i can actually express my views you guys come and express your views do not make kindly do not make you of it okay these were mostly developed for the uh, exploitation of resources after the independence of the country railway routes have been extended to others area too the most significant development have been development of konkan railway we already talked about it which is an engineering marvel it was constructed in 1998 so in 1998 an engineering marvel was constructed see just this along the western coast providing a direct link between mumbai and mangalore railway continues to remain the main means of transport for the masses railway network is relatively less dense in hill states not north eastern states central parts of india and rajasthan all right everyone so we have talked about so much today okay land transport road transport just just a second i have to take other part as well waterways i'm not telling you because i want every one of you to learn the waterways i'll make you learn it in the class only okay and after that we have international trade we'll be talking uh, see as you have talked about this we have given so much reference of economic survey and railways on all that so kindly so once you go in there you will be able to link like what is meter gauge why they are talking about narrow gauges so if narrow gauges have been increased that means people are uh, like government is uh, focusing more on hilly areas uh, more connectivity will be provided all right so that is the thing 
other than that we have talked about national state district roads other roads and uh, we have talked about these uh, national highway development projects we talked about bro national highway authority of india 1995 okay bro 1960 we have talked about that as well atal tunnel 9, 9 km uh, marvel in itself then bharat mala project rail transport broad meter narrow gauges so next time whenever you read the economic survey you will be able to link so, see nobody is going to tell you that okay narrow gauges are being linked that you have to link it yourself by your basics that means if narrow gauges has been built that means uh, government is focusing more on hilly areas right after that uh, rail transport skon kar railway uh, uh, amazing uh, engineers in itself okay other than that uh, we just uh, talked about this indian road network 2020 so kindly 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 update it if you are not updating it you will be finding that, that in our pdfs and our notes and the foundation students you are already going to find those things there okay other than that you know that vester is taking your queries very seriously this time only of the serious aspirants so do not hesitate asking him things but do not create spam of messages unnecessarily just create your doubts and all okay and at pdf students you are already getting the pdf so you need not to worry for anything you will be provided everything everything all you have to just study and work hard because vester is also working so hard with you so we are not talking with the pdf student uh, uh, our batch of students here we want others to just enroll just come and see the benefits of it you it is actually a game changer this time earlier also it was a game changer but many new many more new things has been introduced so you will be in a great benefit if you come and join us so uh chapter number 7 almost done chapter number 8 and 9 will be left so we'll be covering those two two chapters in coming uh, days So yeah, we are we are come we are towards closure of this book. So almost like six hours you can give for a book to complete. We have worked hard for you. All right. So just come and watch these lectures. And yes, just take care of yourself. Enjoy the journey, students. This is just part of life. This is just an exam. This is just your dream. Just achieve it happily. You need not to die for it. Right. If something is not coming, that means God have a different plan for you as well. Yes, I have experienced this thing in my life. If some, if your plans are not working, that means some other plans are working. Everything happens for a very, very good. Stop comparing yourself. That that student achieved this thing. That student. You are a Vaishyan, so be confident. Vaishyan is there to just boost your confidence every time. He's been posting a lot many things this time. Okay, students, be motivated. He keeps on entertaining you. So everything he's providing you, you are in the right hands. Just trust the process. Trust the Vaishyan. He's a wonderful guy. Okay, so yes, he'll do everything good to you. So kindly like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Do share it with your friends so that we can also get to know that uh, what changes we need in the videos. All right, so take care, be happy, be safe, be kind to everyone, and keep studying happily. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.